You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Let me join the news. I saw it was quite large as well. Welcome everyone to the show where anything might happen and usually does. Lee, quick question. Pink hat. Why? Just because. Makes the boys wink. Does it? Yeah. Okay. This week, I have some news that includes an anniversary and how it's being celebrated so we can all enjoy it. And I bring you a story about a picture once seen, never forgotten. And Lee's bring us a new segment called Crafty Queens. On screen now, you can see our contact details. Yep, it's at The Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. The TV for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And remember, you can message or comment while you're there. Some breaking news, Mike. I am not the pheasant plucker. I am the pheasant plucker's mate. I am only plucking pheasants because the pheasant plucker's late. I'm not the fig plucker, nor the fig plucker's son. I'll pluck figs till the fig plucker comes. But can I ask, why is the sky blue? Well, violet and blue light have the shortest wavelengths, so the red light has the longest. Therefore, blue light is scattered more than the red light, and the sky appears blue during the day. Just so that you don't know, instead of coming out with all this bull funky... Just, let's just play. Day of the Week. The producer can't be with us today as he is attending a seminar on famous philosophers. He said he can't wait to delve deeper into Arius from Greece as he's a real bolt man. And in the afternoon he will be weighing the fluctibus against the impressions Marx left on the Jong. While steering well clear of anything to do with Kant. <whistles> this week we're going to play Show As You Draws. And this is one for Mike to show off his artistic aptitude Craptitude might be a better explanation for it. Off you go, Mike. Off to our, to our artistic studio. Dijon. Dijon. Moth. You know this game by now. And if you don't, where have you been for the last six months? Are you ready, Mike? Are you ready, young man? I am gaping and waiting. Again, not young either. So the first one is a sport. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the second one then. No, no skipping. Is it sheep throwing? Not sheep throwing now. There is a sheep there though. That is a sheep, you're right, yeah. Oh! Sheep herding. Sheep herding, yeah. Yeah, is it sport? It is a sport, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's have another one. Okay. Mr. B. Mr. MB? MBR. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so this one is an action. Oh. Is it somebody knocking at the door and asking if they would, um, if you'd be interested in talking about our saviour, Lord Jesus Christ? It's not, but you're on the right side. I'm on the, the right side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Is it praying? No. Who's this? This this uh, depiction. Is that Mary? It's Mary, right? Okay. And there's the next one. <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your no. easy juice? This is a drink. Drink. Yeah. Mary drink. Mary. Mary loves stick. No. <laughs> what what kind of drinks have the word Mary in? 
Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Thank you, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. <laughs> Why is that an action, Mike? Because it's doing the Bloody Mary. I don't know what that is. I just thought of the. I break. think it's when you look in a mirror and you say it. Ah, like, oh, what's happened to your face? You at used to midnight, be young. and you say it six times. Okay. And then it summons an old shag. Right, okay. I learned something new today. Crack another one out, Mike, and splat it on the board. I didn't think we were doing that again, Lee. You asked me not to do that again on the show. I know, but it's, it's just a treat. Oh, okay. The one off. So this one's a group. A group? Yeah, okay. A popular ready. musical group. A musical group, yes. A singist group. <laughs> Katrina and the Waves. Katrina and the Waves. It was the waves that did it. It was the, I didn't know how I was going to draw her a Katrina. Oh. Do you know, I once went to an 80s thing and uh, Katrina, minus the waves, it was just Katrina was singing. And she, when she was singing that song, because that's, that and is it Shine a Light, Love Shine a Light? That's the only one she uh -huh. kind of really knows. In mid-verse, she was like, I'm walking on sunshine. And then, then she said, I'll always be walking on effing sunshine. I think she's a bit bitter. You think? Yeah. You know, when you said you were watching it, it was the 80s. An 80s night. Was it in the 80s? In the 80s. Okay. It was an 80s night. Right, okay. Which is every night for me. Let's have another one. Okay, so this is a song. Song. A song. Walking on Sunshine. It's not, no. It's a country, that. Italy. No. Bigger than Italy. Italy's like over here. With the kids in America. No, nope, America's over here. Oh. So let him draw, Lee. Yeah. Let him draw. So that's the USA there. And the <clears throat> Florida. Because Florida is the USA's wang. Never heard it described like that before. Have you not? Right, and then England's over here. And then you've got Australia down here. That actually looks like Australia as well. <laughs> Back in the USSR. So it's this one. USSR's up here. It's literally a block, so it's Soviet block. Men so. from down under. No, that's down here. It's this one we're looking what at. Are what are you trying to... What? what just draw the bloody country. I have done map. it here. <laughs> this country here. <laughs> that country there. That country there. The country Viva there. España. No, no, this is Europe up here. So this is Europe. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And then you've got Australia. Yeah. And New Zealand. Yeah. Okay. You've got... Asia. That's USA. <clears throat> so what's that one? Europe. No, the final that's countdown. Europe. Huh? The final countdown by Europe. <laughs> no. So out of all of these co continents, name the continents. I don't know them, Mike. Right. Australasia. Australasia. The Asia. big one. The hot one. Europe. The cold one. <laughs> right. What, what's the hot one called? Africa. Africa, yes. Is that it? That's it, yes. Well done. And well done to my geography teacher. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember when uh, George W. Bush didn't know where any countries were? I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember when the actual continents parted. <laughs> it's like, oh, so you remember Pangaea? <laughs> yeah, when they separated <laughs> into the new world. Let's have another mother... Let's have another mother. I've already got two. <laughs> Third would be greedy. Okay, so this is a person. Okay. Okay. A real person. <laughs> Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt, yeah. Is that a read? No, that's Jabba the Hutt. Okay. If I'd put a hat, put a hat on, that would be a read. Spaff one this way, Mike. Okay. Spider-Man it. Spider-Man it. Okay, the next one is a group. Oh, it's so well with the others. Yeah. The jam. The jam. It is the jam. Well done. Rolling who? The rolling who? You're off again, aren't you? <laughs> it's like talking to me, Nan. <laughs> You're right, love. Mm, half past three. I, th I think that's the end. Do you? I, I, I don't think... Have you lost the will? 
About four questions ago, yeah. Oh, well, don't worry, because still to come, we have my new segment, Crafty Queens. And just after the break, it's Lee and the Showbiz News. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Let's see what he's got installed this week as Lee brings us more showbiz news. A bit of banter. Shall I just go straight into it? I'm up for a bit of banter. Should I have a bit, a bit of banter? banter? I haven't really. Oh, okay, let's um, so let's just go straight into yeah, it yeah. then. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> when you was a little child... Right, last week, yeah. Like a, like a little baby. Um, did you watch He-Man? I did watch a human on occasion. Did you? Yeah. But did, did you have Did you have a preference to I, to? I was more of a Thundercats boy. Oh, okay. Because there was the more men in, in tight clothes. Well, well what, just more men in tight clothes yeah, than yeah. He-Man. He-Man. It was He-Man in a loincloth. They were all pr practically naked. No, they were all wearing suits and, and clothing. Okay. Right. Whereas in Thundercats, they were all walking around. All the boys were. Okay. Well, enough of your anthropomorphic. Perversions. Let's talk about He-Man. Okay. Um, it's coming back, Mike. Oh. Oh. So, Masters of the Universe Revelation mm. is a sequel to the original He-Man from the eighties. The, the film. So, yeah. No. 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 The film is no. This. This is. <laughs> this is a picture of the original eighties um, uh, Masters He-Man and the Masters of the Universe cartoon. Cartoon, yeah. Okay. Um, so, Masters of the Universe Revelation, mm -hmm. it's an adult animated... So, not adult as in... Anime. Yeah, not Rudy Doody's. Um, tentacle porn. Tentacle porn? I don't want to know what that is. Um, it's animated porn with tentacles. Instead of winkles? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Niche. it's... it's an, So, it's not for kids, this. That's it's tentacle it, porn. No, it's for children. No, it's not for children. You're going <laughs> to be confused. It's not for kids. It's for adults. Okay. Okay. This is a this is a poster of of look very dramatic. That's oh. Castle Castle Grey Skull. Uh huh. Right. So the original cartoon basically was kind of um, a vehicle to sell the toys. Yeah. The dollies. Uh -huh. So did you did you have any of them? I did. Which ones did you have? I had He Man. Just He Man. Nothing he -Man. else. I had Fisto. He 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 existed. Who? Fisto. Was that the ghosty one? No, that was Orko. He was annoying. Oh. Fisto fisted things. He had a powerful fist. He did. I'm not making this up. He genuinely did. He had a metal fist and he would fist things to pieces. I'm not surprised if it was metal. Didn't last long in my house. Um, so, <laughs> but for an 80s kid, that was everything. Not Fisto. Not being <laughs> fisted. That wasn't a thing. Not until I was about 16. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> so let's just let's let's set that aside for a later date. Let's just like stop yeah, talking. Yeah. Okay. Start again. Okay. So, th so the story of He Man mm -hmm. is pretty much kind of like good versus evil. Yeah. So it's like He Man um, takes place in Eternia. This is we've got a picture here. Of, this is the new version. So that's okay. Battle Cat, and uh -huh. that's He Man. Okay. Now the weird thing is now I didn't realize this. Skeletor uh -huh. is. Um, the son is the son of King Randor, who is He Man's dad. Yeah. So they're brothers. Did you not know that? No. I did not know that. I did not know that they were brothers. I didn't know. Weird. Yeah. Um, so this this version mm -hmm. is kind of takes place afterwards, um, after the kind of like main storyline. Okay. And um, Skeletor wants to get inside the castle. <laughs> it's not a euphemism. Uh -huh. Wants to get inside the castle because there's something in there that he wants. <laughs> but he can't have it. <laughs> kind of an allergy for some people's lives. Um, so, yeah. So, um, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get myself out of this. So, voices. Should we talk voices? Let's talk voices. Voices. So, Skeletor. No. Uh -huh. He-Man. He-Man. He-Man is going to be voiced by Chris Woods. Okay. Who is kind of like in Vampire Diaries. Those kind of like right. teen things. Okay. okay. Um, Skeletor is Mark Hamill. Okay. From 
the Star Wars things. Star Wars things, yeah. yeah. Um, Sarah Michelle Gellar oh. is going to be Teela. Well. The lady. Yes. With the bun. No. That's um, that's Princess Leia. Did Teela have buns? Just one bun. You don't know, do oh, you? No, I didn't you watch don't it. Know. Um, and then Alicia Silverstone. I think she's going to be the um, sorceress. Okay. Evelyn. The, no. Not the sorceress was the good one in the white. All with right. the wings. <laughs> Not a chicken. She was the sorceress. Evil Lynn was the one in purple. That was evil. Was evil. Yeah, that's the name. The name. Evil yeah. Lynn. Um, so, so, you see, so that's coming out soon sometime <laughs> on some channel. Who knows? Um, I, however, was, I, I didn't, I was she -ra. I can imagine I was you were she, -ra. she -ra. <laughs> <laughs> I was a she boy. Much, 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 I preferred it. It was prettier, mm -hmm. nicer, had the hot, Bow in it with the okay. tash. Okay. You don't know any of these characters. Let's no. let's just leave it there then. Let's just leave it. I there. was born in the eighties. I missed the first three years of it. What did you on catch up? On catch up in the eighties. <laughs> oh, beat no, Max, as it was also no. <laughs> I, I recently rewatched Shira. Dull. Proper dull. Yeah. Um. <laughs> which is a good advert for the. Which program that I've just thrown. You just about. said, I am a Shira boy. I bet it was more of the imagery. Anyway, let's go on to something else. Um, did you know that Born This Way, the album by Lady Gaga, mm -hmm. is 10 years old this year? 10 years old? 10 whole years. Wow. So, and what she's doing is she's rebirthing it. How do you rebirth an album? She's going to go, <laughs> and it's going to pop out like that. But it's going to be. <laughs> Um, so we have the original cover then. It's going to be um, very, very LGBTQI focused. Because Born This Way wasn't. Was, was, ha, she's going to make it even gayer than even it was. Even gayer the than it was. So we're going to have um, tracks recorded by lots of LGBTQI okay. acts. So we've already had um, Big Frida. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Big Frida. I don't know if she's called Big Frida. Big Frida. Big Frida. Okay, um, and they have released a cover of Judas. Uh -huh. Okay, we've had um, Orville Peck, the country music star that has like the neck, the chains across his cowboy hat. Okay, yeah, yeah. we've talking about him before. He he has done a version of Born This Way, the country road version. Ooh. Okay, and then if she couldn't make it even more gay, she's personally asked Kylie, mm -hmm. the Minogue, not the other one. Two, do a version of Marry the Night, which has already been out. Okay. The gays have gone mad. Mad. See, when, when I first heard Marry the Night, I thought she said, she said Mary the Night. Marry uh, the Night. I am going to marry the night. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but it sounds like fun. Oh. I, I see, I listened to the Carly version and I don't really... Carly's nice and, and I don't kind of associate Carly with like leather and lace and that kind of stuff. You're not. No. She's saying about homicide. Oh, well... And she had that um, Lindy phase, which was a bit... And then years and years have done The Edge of Glory. Yes. Mm. So it should be out now mm. in your record emporiums. Or in, for everybody else, <laughs> iTunes, Apple Music. Wax cylinders. Wax cylinders. Yeah. Spotify. Orchestras yeah. playing it outside your house. Yeah. It's, like, even, it's even on our playlist. It is, is it? On our Spotify playlist. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It is. Now we've done a, we've done this kind of in the past where cartoon characters and Disney characters have been sort of reimagined as something else. So a couple of episodes again. What do you what what what? what, what? Sorry, just keep going because I'm slightly concerned what you're, what you're talking um, about. We did the Tom Taylor that did the the cartoon characters in like a um, homosexual way. Oh right, yeah, yeah. You remember? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, but this this is Disney characters mm -hmm. as kind of sexy real people. Oh, mm. So um, the artist Jürgen Vins Johant Okay, that is actually how you pronounce it. Mm. Um, he, we apologise. We apologise, but I, I don't. I, I'm just going to say Jürgen Vins. I can say that bit. Okay, Jürgen Vins. Got a picture Vince, of him. Yeah. Look, he's quite a handsome gentleman. Oh, um, he is yeah. a handsome gentleman. He he has created portraits of Disney heroes and villains, but as real people. Oh, so I know we've seen we've had lots of remakes of. Live action. Live action, but, yeah, yeah. but he's kind of like, kind of more stylized. So we're going to show some and you can see if you, you, you can guess who they are. Okay. So the first one, fairly, would you, would you know who that is? 
Which Disney character that is? Um, that would be um, Jean Grey from X-Men. It would not be oh. Jean Grey from X-Men. It would be the Little Mermaid. Oh, Ariel. Ariel. Doesn't yeah. have a surname. Just Ariel. Just goes by Ariel. Yeah. Wait that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's quite good. See, we've got Ari we've got the Little Mermaid coming out as a live action. Okay, let's let's bring up a, let's bring up the next one. Okay. Hello. You know what that's missing? You on top of him. Me in the middle of them going <laughs> motorboating him. Motorboating. Um, do you know who that is? The future ex-husband. Yeah, but do you know what Disney film is from? No. He's from Mulan. Oh, didn't he, watch Mulan. He, no, I didn't. Captain Lee Shan. Captain Lee Shan. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's Captain Lee Shan. Um, so yeah, that's him. Um, let's have, let, let's let's have another one. Carmen. No. Hung around in a bell tower, unattractive gentleman with a hump. Would. Come on, I don't think that's fair. <laughs> Esmeralda from, oh, right, from The okay. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay. Okay. No. You're not a big Disney fan, I'm taking it. All right, so that's her as the cartoon. That's the end of the show, is news, peeps. Thanks for that, Lee. Coming soon, we have our new segment, Crafty Queens. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. monkeys you are watching chewing the cud with mike and lee and now it's time for mike in the buzz i'm going to start with a very age-old question does size matter it's not the motion in the ocean it's the size of the whale up your ass i don't know i was talking about food you perfect oh sorry Misunderstood. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is a story about a gentleman who went to Nando's. Named for cheeky Nando's, or just an ordinary one? Just for norm, norm, normal Nando's. Normal Nando's. Normal Nando's. Okay. Or, or for a cheeky Nando's. Depends what, you know. Have you never, never just felt the urge for a cheeky Nando's? You're nowhere near a Nando's. And what's you're like, a, what, oh, what's what, a cheeky one? What's a cheeky Nando's? It's like a cheeky pint. It wasn't planned. Uh-huh. But you just thought, ooh. So you mean impromptu? Yeah. You changed the word impromptu to cheeky. So yeah, he'd gone for a planned Nando's. Planned Nando's. Um, but was, was disgusted that he'd, he was, his piece of chicken was under 10 centimetres. Okay, is there a standard for size for, for chicken? No, chicken. not. No. What did you bit of phlegm there, Lord? I went, I went to Liverpool then. No, you didn't. Is it chicken? I know what you were aiming for, but he didn't do Liverpool. He's <laughs> <laughs> a chicken from Nando's. Let's carry on. I want to apologise to everybody. I Not just the people from Liverpool, everybody, for what just know. happened out of Lee's mouth. Um, so yeah, he's declared it as a rip-off because the piece of chicken was so small. Okay. And to prove that, he whipped out his tape measure. I'm glad you said tape measure. I thought you were going to say he's whipped out his <laughs> Because that's how you measure things in real life. Well, you do. Well, I've uh, seen you down being cute. If I have any anything that's a foot long, yes. <laughs> that's a foot, right? It is. <laughs> yeah. It is, yeah. Um, so, yeah, took his tape measure out, mm -hmm. measured the chicken when it's under 10 centimetres, what's going on here. Basically, Nando's have said, look, chicken varies in shape and size. We can't control the size of our chicken, but it's normally thicker if it's shorter. But my question is, why would you have a tape measure at Nando's? Perhaps he was having, indeed, a cheeky Nando's. Perhaps no, no, he no, was, he'd, perhaps he was he'd a builder. he out for Father's Day meal. Perhaps he was a builder. Or a, or a joiner, and, 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 and that's the tools of his trade. That he carries with him all the time. Also, it was Father's Day, so perhaps he was gifted that by his children. A tape measure? Yeah. There you go, Daddy. There you go, Daddy, because you need measure. to measure things, like chicken. <laughs> and the size of you. Anyway, um, <laughs> would you be upset by the size of that, that chicken? Um, that looks okay to me. Yeah, I thought that the tomato's huge. I pick all that out. What, the, the non-meat stuff? I, I will have lettuce. No tomato, uh, no tomatoes, no like them. Um, and but you can ha you don't have to have the. No, you can just have the yeah. without salad. I used to have a wrap. This is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like going down a hole there that didn't to go into. So what happened in the end, Mike? He just complained. Nando's went get over it. It's chicken. All right, okay. Yeah. That was the end. That was pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to find out whether you thought size was important. Not, not in chicken. Not I mean, if chicken. it was a tiny piece of tiny piece of chicken, like a chicken nugget, like a chicken, yeah, like a chicken end, then, and it was, and, 
What's a chicken? I don't know. I might just spit it out. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, moving on. Yeah. Um, and this is a story about finding something unexpected. Chicken end. <laughs> chicken end, yeah. Um, have you ever found anything unexpected? You, you just like, you've looked at something and gone, ooh. Um, the sun. Every day I wake up. <laughs> well, that makes it's you a, go, it's a surprise. Ooh. Oh, I've, I've made it through again. You can tell. All oh, right, I thought it's just because you lived in the northwest. It's like it was dark. No, <laughs> it was no. a big shining thing in the sky. I'm, I'm sure there must be loads. <clears throat> I just can't recall any at this very moment. Because <laughs> your age. Um, well, this is a story about a Florida woman who's been stunned um, as she's found a one billion. Yes, one billion US dollars in a bank account. Real dollars. Real dollars. Look, look to her online statement. It said you have one billion dollars oh. in your account. See, that's not real, is it? The bank had put it there. On purpose. On Surprise. purpose. Yes. She couldn't withdraw a single penny of it because the bank had frozen her account. They thought she was uh, um, committing fraud. And so what the way that they deal with that is they put a dummy amount into your account, which is a oh. billion dollars and freeze your account. That's sneaky, isn't it? That's sneaky. And also, I'd, I'd be there going, where's my money? I'd be going in, going, give me money out. It says a, mil a billion. Give me, give me, give me. But then, does that prove she's a fraud? No, it's just they thought she was frauding. So that's the way that they froze her account. By putting a billion dollars in it. And f completely freezing it. Okay. So she didn't actually get a billion dollars. They just put a number in it. Okay. Have you ever accidentally sent something to someone on a text message or a picture message? Yeah. What was it? Um, nothing rude. I don't do those. Um, <laughs> but I've slagged Proof somebody problem. off and sent it to that, to that person I've slagged person. off. Yeah. <gasps> oh. I know. How, how did you react to that? <laughs> styled it out. You styled it out? Yeah. How did you style that out? Um, I cut them out of my life. Oh, I right, okay. spoke to them again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, this is a story about a lady who, who received something she wasn't expecting. Right, and then posted it up on TikTok. Was it something nice? It wasn't something nice, oh. no. Um, this was a young lady that reacted very badly to find out her, her grandma had sent her some nudes. Of herself? Grandma sent nudes of herself to her granddaughter. Look at her face. Yeah, look at her face. Look, at her, she's crying. She's, she's more than crying, she's distraught. Well, I mean, do you know what? We all, you know, we all have a body. We do all have a body. We all have a camera. Would you like to hear how the grandma explained it? Please. Shall we, shall we play that? Raven, this is your grandmother. I apologize so much. I sent you pictures. I pushed your name by mistake. I meant to send it to my friend, Brian Allen. Please delete that picture from your group. Please, Grandma Baby. Grandma, when I looked up at my thing and I seen that, I felt so bad. I was sending it to Brian Allen, but you know your grandmother don't. So, yeah, grandmother sending it to Brian Allen. Sent it to her granddaughter instead. I think her granddaughter needs to get over it. Do you? We're all people. We all okay. have needs. So if your grandparents sent you a picture of them? Well, I'd be proud surprised they'd been dead about 20 years. Uh, but still, pretend they were alive and old and crinkly. I'd go, do you know what? Good on you, you wrinkly <laughs> old hag. Is that exactly what you said? <laughs> you picked up your phone and went, oh, look, there's Nana's vagina. To be fair, at that age, you probably wouldn't see much of it. <laughs> All the hanging stuff. <laughs> Lift up her boobs. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, remember that you can interact with us on social media. Just look for at the Cud TV. Our website is a cud.tv. And on YouTube, look for Chewing the Cud. Now we go to Story of the Week. But before we do, I've got you a lovely little treat. Because mm -hmm. normally I give you horrible things to try. Yeah, you do, man. Yeah. This week, I've got you something nice and tasty. Okay? I'll be the judge of that. A little bit of pate on toast. Right. It's literally just pate on toast. It's been sat there for hours, though. It's not been sat there for hours. It's been sat there for 15 minutes max. Uh, what kind of pate is it, Mike? See, that's the catch. Mm. It's something like dog... No, no, it's actual pate. Yeah. From the supermarket. Yeah. Normal pate. Yeah. On toast. Well, why do you want me to eat it? I'm sharing. I'm being nice to you. I'm fine, thanks. Have some pate. It's lovely. I had a Tic Tac this morning. I'm fine. It's, it's pate. Is it cat food? It's not cat food. It's pate. See, it's pate. Mm. It's tasty. It's good. Mm -hmm. Right, cheer as well. And the story of the week this week um, comes about an elderly couple. Are you not, are you not going to interact with me? Because they're going, 
Chew and swallow. It's in your mouth. The damage. No, is done. because <laughs> I've said that before. Have they been eating party out of each other's arses? <laughs> no, they haven't. Out <laughs> uh, the front bottoms. No. Um, this is a story where a couple have found out that absolutely gorgeous pate they were eating was actually cat food. Um, <laughs> I've, I've brought it back. <laughs> it's actually pate. Okay. It's actually pate. But yeah, they've recently moved to France. Mm -hmm. Right? Didn't understand French because why would you learn the language of the country you're going to live why? in? Why? Um, saw this thing, picked it up, went, looked at it, oh, it's pate. Been eating it. It's gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Right? Um, only once the, their daughter went out to visit them and they said, pick us up some of this pate. It's got a picture of the cat on. Right? And it, that one had a picture of a cat on as well. Anyway, um, get some of that pa pate that she went, that means cat food, Mum. I mean, you're pretty stupid, really. Yeah. What what pate comes with a picture of a cat on it? I don't know that one, but... It's... They deserve that, then. They, they deserve it. Stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the cat. cat's like... I knew it was cat. It was cat food. <laughs> the cat's been eating pate. <laughs> cat's been cat's perfectly been happy. <laughs> for months. Raw, <laughs> raw. So they moved to France in 2015 and admit that reading French labels can still pr prove to be a bit tricky. It can, but the pictures kind of give it away. <laughs> I would think. And the jelly that was on the top of the pate <laughs> <laughs> would make me feel. No, because some pate comes with jelly. No. No. You don't, you don't believe that that would be a, a good thing? I believe they've done it, but I believe they're stupid. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. That's, that's all you're going to say? Well, that's when you find out that they're still eating it. Oh, they, they've not refused that? Well, it's... Whoa, we enjoy it. It's tasty. <laughs> no, what's, they... what's the matter with constant dysentery and diarrhoea? Oh, that tasty <laughs> stuff. Dysentery from cat food? You never know. Depends where that cat food's been made. In a cat the dysentery food district. district. <laughs> the dysentery okay. district of France. Yeah, <laughs> dysentery district of France. Yeah, like the Bordeaux region. They make wine. <laughs> Moving on. Um, but yeah, they're, they're not eating the cat food. They've realised the mistake and they're not They've eating died. it anymore. <laughs> no, no, they're still alive. Oh no, <laughs> they've just stopped eating cat food. Okay. okay. All right, and that's all from the bus. Thankfully, this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I'm going to head to the local pet store later to pick myself up a loaf of... Gerbil. Gerbil bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay tuned, because coming up next, we have Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to do something crafty, and I don't mean in a sneaky way. Welcome to the new feature we're calling Crafty Queens, for I am crafty and I am also royal. Um, this week we're going to make something that... Um, it's a bit old school, it's a bit, but you know, do, do you remember doing this, Mike, when you were as a little child, little bubba? Doing what? Well, you know, getting getting flowers and mushing them and turning them into parfum. Oh, so we're making perfume out of flowers? Yeah. Ah, no. So no, we're not just going to put them in a bucket. <laughs> we're going to do it like like they do it proper. We're going to distill. We're going to distill the essence. So we're going to put it in a in a. In a we're still. going to distill our very essence into a jar. Um, so in front of you, you should have um, should have a sieve. I have a sieve. You yeah. should have a wooden spoon. I do. Yeah. Um, a a jug of water. Oh, I'm not fencing then. Okay. Um, and water. a pestle and mortar. Well, I don't have a pestle and mortar. I have a bowl and a knife. Oh, okay. You're going to improvise. I'm going to improvise. Um, now, you have some beautiful, beautiful red roses. I do. You do. And you should also have a priceless perfume bottle made out of the finest plastic that China can buy. Oh yeah, I've got plastic, yeah. plastic tub thing. So you've got your, and a tiny little funnel. For a sample. You got that? For the sample, yeah. Okay. So, what you're gonna do first is, mm -hmm. you, well, my, my flowers are already pre, 
decapitated. Oh, okay. So you need to decapitate your flowers oh. um, into your bowl. It's about... Deflower them. So I'm going to oh. deflower my roses. Yeah, oh, not all of them. You don't need all of them. Ow. But, you know, a few. So... How many is a few? A handful. Is that enough? That, yeah, that, that should be fine. Okay. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get... So what I have, I have the, the pestle. Mm -hmm. What did you say you had? I have a knife. You have a knife? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I would... Is it a sharp knife, Mike? No. No, it's a plastic knife. Oh, right. Okay. I think you may struggle with this. What do I need to do? Um, you need to pound your petals. Oh well. In 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 the in the pestle, um, to kind of turn them into kind of mush type. Oh, turn them into mush. Yeah, because you're gonna because you what you're doing is you're releasing their essence. You want to pulverize them. I want to pulverize them. So I'm releasing the, the essential oils. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, you're releasing their okay. um, their scent. You might want to add a few more. No, I'm all right, thank you. I'm okay. getting okay. Yeah, yeah. So when they're kind of starting to kind of stain the bowl... Yeah. With... Uh, so you've stained the bowl? Yeah. How are you staining the bowl? I'm... I'm well, the, as I'm pounding the petals, they're releasing their essence okay. into the bowl, and they're staining it a, a maroon colour. A maroon colour. Well, can you see? I, I'll hold that up to the oh. camera. It's beautiful. It, um, it's very So perfect. once you've kind of... Because what you don't want to do is crush the life out of them. Do you not? No. That's not good. So we don't want to crush the life out of them, but we want to release the innards. The, you want to release their inner, inner beauty. Okay. Um, so I, I'm going to kind of, once they're kind of broken down a little bit, Yeah. add your water. Add my water once yeah. they've been broken down. Into, yeah, into okay. your bowl or your pestle. Into my bowl, yeah. Okay. How much water do I add? All of it? Uh, yeah, because you need, you need the, the um, jug. Well, all my water won't fit in my bowl. Will it overflow? It will. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I'll flow. And then just kind of mix that a little bit with your butter knife. The water should be starting to kind of turn a pinky hue. Okay. Okay. Now, what you want is just now get your um, get your jug back. Yeah. Put your sieve over the top. Mm hmm And then pour the mixture, uh -huh. all the leaves and all the, all the petals, into the sieve. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Scrape out your petals. Okay. And then what you're going to do is, with your with your wooden spoon, you're yeah. going to mush the petals through the sieve. It's almost a little bit like cooking, only not. Only not. Yeah. Yeah. This is generally how um, they don't make perfume. I was going to say, do they not just boil the, the petals in, in a still when they're making? I perfume? don't know. I'm only I'm, my only reference is being seven years old <laughs> and making rose perfume. Yeah. So once you've kind of strained the um, the mixture out of that, uh -huh. okay, you're going to put your petals back into your mortar. Okay. Can you see? Look at look at the lovely colour. It's gone like a like a purple. Mine's, mine's bright pink. Was it dark pink? Oh, bright pink. Light pink. Okay. Yeah. So put your petals back into your bowl. Uh huh. Get your mortar, pestle. Uh huh. And mush them up again. Okay. And th this time they should kind of make a paste. Should we have a smell, Mike? Have a sniff. Yes, let's have a smell. Ooh. Ooh, it smells Smushed like. Smushed petals. Yeah, it smells like gardening. Give those, yeah, yeah. And then put a tiny little bit of your pink Juice. water back in, just to just to give them a little bit of moisture, and mush them up again. Okay. So now you want to really, really press down, Mike. Okay. And um, mush that colour out. Okay. So and then so what? Why did we take it out and put it back in again? Um, because that's what you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't question. Do you, <laughs> don't question the crafty queen. Oh right, okay. I shall start um, questioning you all together. So then, put your put your sieve back over your your jug. Uh huh. And then pour your whatever's in the bowl. Yeah. Back 
into the thing. Okay. And then with your... We're pressing it back again. Mush it through. Okay. Now, if you have the time, the inclination, you would do this several times. Several times? Yeah, but I'm losing the will to live. Why, why would you do it several times? Because why you, would you want to do it right the first time. You want all the um, rose juice uh -huh. out of the petals. Would we not just stick this in a blender? No, because that would just be make a make a petal frappuccino, and that's not good. So it would you... smell like roses. Does it smell nice? What my, my, my leafy mush? Yeah, what you've what you've got. Yes. Yeah. So now we, we have our fragrance. And so you now you need to take your um, priceless perfume container. It looks like a, a genie from a 1970s show. It has a little dabber on the end. Well, that's what they all Because say. we're not spraying it. We're going to dab it. We're going to dab it. Oh. Yeah. So because the, nothing says extravagance like dipping stale petals in water on you. So. Yeah, it's for something classy. It's not for it's not for your Charlie or your... You leave my Charlie out of this. Your old spice. Um, put your put your funnel in the top of your container. Uh-huh. And pour very slowly some of your rose perfume. Ooh. Have you done that, Mike? I, I'm, I'm trying. Okay. Well, I can, because if you hold it up to the light, you can see the pink in the glass. Oh, it's overflowing, so yes, I think oh, it's Oh, you've overfilled. As some people say overfilled. I've said made sure there's an abundance of fluid. An abundance of fluid. So, um, pop your, your stopper back in. Uh-huh. Give it a little bit of a shake. And then your fragrance is ready to dab on your pulse points of your body. Does it smell? It, it does smell. You're right. Hmm. Didn't say it smelled good. Doesn't. I'm not going to say it smells nice. And there we have it. So why do we dab it on our pulse points? Why do we have what? You said we have to dab it on our pulse points. Um, because that is where your your body, the the blood from your organs, pounds, and um. As it pounds, it releases the essence. I don't know what I'm talking about. I know a lot, of, I know a lot of things Making that when you pound, up. releases the essence of. But, <laughs> um, it's not something I want to smell of particularly. If you know, if you if you know, you don't like roses, you could don't try cabbage. If you're not into cabbage, you know anything really. Toothpaste. <laughs> Toothpaste uh, with that minty fresh smell. <laughs> Some old mulch. Whatever. Earthy feces. tones, that kind of stuff. Human feces. Whatever you want. And that, you'll find, is the end of this week's Crafty Queens. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media, at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcast services, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Don't. I'm done. Hold on.